Hey everyone, welcome in. Happy Monday. I'm gonna jump right into the game today because I have not been streaming as much lately, so when I do stream, I wanna get right into the games and get started, so. And it's been a minute since I played this, so. I feel like I'm only streaming like, wow, why is it really loud? I feel like I'm only streaming once a week now these days, so. I need to really, is the game too loud? I think the game is too loud. Let's turn it down a little bit. It doesn't feel like it's that loud. Well, I guess it is. I don't even remember what the heck I was doing here. Cook a dippy egg for Gus. Cook. Where is the prestige of level four in Timber Crossing? Where? Where am I? I don't remember how to do things already. The A24. Okay, so now it's just a matter of time. Just have to assign guests to the houses here. Um. Wait, can I see the... Bedrooms. Oh, I have people assigned. Okay, I do have people assigned. Job in progress. I have to completely remember what I was doing. Okay, that's just that. Cooking. Oh, it's been so long since I played this. Alright, let's just go back to... Jumper Crossing? Oh, these are empty as well. Twelve and seven. Bedroom three is empty. I need more comfort here. Shed. How can I raise the comfort even more? Do I need better beds? Maybe I should just try to move forward with what I'm doing. Um, If I can only remember what the heck I was doing. This is a new area. But I can't do anything with it yet, can I? No. Oh, and my inventory's filling up too. That's right, I remember that from last time. I vaguely remember I can start cooking now too, so... I guess that's what this quest is over here. Oh, that's right, I forgot I did that. Fetch her what? What am I looking for? Oh, did I find it already? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I 
Snore station? Sitting log, small campfire. Oh. A moonlit wiener. Oh my god. Your cards are fire seating object and a dispenser. Okay. Some guests specifically look for campfires. There is a lot to think about here. Where? Oh, am I full? <gasps> no. <laughs> she wants mushrooms. All right. Oh, my inventory's full. I hate it. Hey, Clay, welcome in. How are you doing today? I'm trying to remember how to play this game because it's been way too long. How's your uh, Australian Tuesday? Almost recovered from the cold, that's good. Colds are no fun. I'm doing good. I had a very busy work day today and I just cooked dinner, so I'm like a little tired, but I'm pretty good. Nothing. Why am I so confused at the moment? I guess I'll just pick things up. Beautiful outside, and whilst I'm working inside, I went outside a few times to hang washing. That's nice. I kind of wish we had a place to hang laundry, but can't. What's this? Ooh. Oh. My inventory needs to be emptied out. Crap, crap, crap. I swear this was the place that I met someone who can cook, but maybe I'm mistaken. Oh yeah, here, here, here. I honestly wish it was raining over here. I miss the rain. Oh my god, I can't pick up things. No. Hi. Did you find any sage? I did, here you go. Please take it out of my inventory. I have to go into the office tomorrow, which I'm not very happy about, but... Whatever. Bears don't have to worry about underwear. What? <laughs> How did that have to do with anything? Oh, I guess I can't cook yet. I didn't know I could taste words before. <laughs> the dialogue is really cute from Hank. Teach you how to do that. If you'd like to stick around, sure. Help yourself from the garden. Things grow pretty fast in there, so help yourself. I need some place to put all my crap first. Because... My inventory is full, and I hate it. Had a big table the whole family would sit around. Oh, little dinner stool. Small plywood table. Tiny buffet. Should probably give folks some room to eat. Dining rooms. Oh. Ah. Oh, interesting. Each dining room will affect an entire building, so resorts with multiple buildings will require multiple dining rooms. Each dining room will affect an entire building. Okay. Oh, I see. Only cooked meals will. Lower level serving tables have fewer slots available to fit meals. There is so much going on here. Okay. Well. Time to cook some food. No, actually, time to frickin' store some shit. 
Where is my... I know there's a way to do that. Is that here? Yeah. I have so much crap. I have a crappy toilet. And a wooden shower. Why do I have those? Old antenna dish. It's a quest item. Put these beds away. Oh, I do have a lot of crap in here. I wonder if I can craft out of this bin or I have to hold everything. I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna put all my max stacks in here. Can I sort? Organize. Yes. Thank you. Bear stash. I love it. My bear stash. Well. Oh, this is the campsite. I have nothing available though. Well, I have nothing... Nothing available to do though. Hmm. Oh, okay, here I can. Um, build a room, special campfire. Oh, that's expensive. How big do I need to make it? Maybe like that? I guess I can always expand it. Oh, it's not, it's not even. I don't like that. Quite expensive. Okay, I need a campfire, sitting logs, and dispensers. Oh, wait, I should do that first. Crappy toilet. I really hope that it pulls from my bin too, because that would make it so much easier. Oh, it does. I think it does. Yes, thank you, game. Thank you, game. I appreciate that. Oh no, maybe not. No? Do I have no pine wood planks? Hmm. The game thanks you. I hope it does. I hope it appreciates me. Good. Oh, that really bothers me that I can't center this like really nicely. That's fine, whatever. No. Oh, I guess I can do more logs. Well, let's just build this for now. Okay, there we go. That's weird. No pine wood planks. Do I really not have any? Are they in my... plywood. Oh, I have to have them in my inventory. <laughs> I was wrong. Never mind, damn you game. Okay. Let's make three more. Oh, it's a raid! Jonathan! Hi, Jonathan! Welcome in! Hi, Matt Pancake!
How you doing? Oh, I can stack these? Oh, crap. Puzzled Monkey Tree, welcome in. Hello, everyone. Give me one second. I will greet you properly in one moment. Okay, there we go. Let's pause. Swell, you're swell. That's good to hear. I am doing well today, too, Matt. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? How is Cult of the Lamb? Your name <laughs> is Stapler Face. <laughs> Stapler Face. I, I admittedly don't know much about Cult of the Lamb, the Lamb yet, but I know a lot of y'all are playing it, so... Are your cultists surviving? Do you have a thriving cult? I didn't think I was going to stream today because I normally don't stream on Mondays, but then again, I haven't really been streaming regularly for a while, so um, welcome in everyone. Nice to have you all here. I am Fox, a gay variety streamer. I used to stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but now I just stream whenever I feel like it, it seems like, so we are playing more Baron Breakfast. I'm also playing Final Fantasy IV in rotation with this, so yeah, we just like to have a cool, chill time and hang out and play games and talk. I talk a lot, so I don't think I used ever stop talking while I'm streaming, but... That Tonrare, you haven't seen it before? He's cute. I must have moved my camera. His eyes actually light up if I have the batteries inside, but his eyes and the lantern light up. I should put batteries in it one day. I never, I never have. <laughs> I'm always worried that when I put batteries and stuff, the ba I'm going to just forget about the batteries in there and the batteries are going to explode and destroy the thing, so... I... have never put batteries in him. But yeah. <laughs> You've never had batteries explode? Mine always do! Maybe it's Hawaii weather or something because, like, I put... If I keep batteries and stuff for too long, like if inside of oh, inside of battery controllers or remote controls or other things that require batteries, if you leave them in the, even my Wiimotes, like, well, not this one. I've been very careful with this one because it's Mario, but like if I left them in here for too long, the batteries would leak and well, okay, they don't explode, but they leak and they, um, the acid just gets all over everything and ruins stuff. So I just don't keep batteries and things like I don't keep batteries in this just because I don't want it to forget about it and then it explodes and ruins it it's very sad I've had them explode too they're gross they are and it's actually acid so if you touch it it burn, burns you don't touch the acid it's not good but the beautiful Hawaiian weather says no I don't know if the humidity makes it worse I'm not sure but it frequently happens to my devices here, so I'm very careful about not keeping batteries in anything that I'm not currently using. Which is a little bit of a pain, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> well, thank you very much for the raid, Jonathan. I appreciate it. I'm going to flip back to the game. And to Matt, too. Hi, Matt. <laughs> and everyone else that came in with the raid. Thank you for being here. I want to finish more of this game, only because I don't know how much I'm going to be streaming now. I, I used to be good about keeping a schedule, but it just hasn't happened for me lately. So, I just stream whenever I can now, and that's kind of my new thing. And I hope you all are okay with that, but... YOLO, I know, <laughs> it's just... I do want to do... I keep saying this because... I never really celebrated my 400 followers, or my... Actually, I never celebrated my 350 followers. Um, or my 450 followers. So, I need to... I'll probably do something once I hit 500. Something special, but I don't know yet. But I haven't celebrated any milestones lately, and I kind of feel like I should. Soon. Just a way to thank you all. You know, maybe play like some multiplayer games or something. It's been a while since I've done that too. Can 
Okay, I'm getting distracted again. I need to do a dining room. Dining room. Wait, can I? I can I can construct here too, right? Oh, this is upstairs downstairs, right? Kitchen. 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 Maybe the kitchen and the dining room can be... Wait, what do I need in a kitchen? Just cutting boards? Oh, you know, that's the one thing that bothers me is you can't craft while you're in that mood. I don't know why. Okay, let's see. Oh, I need a front desk. So let's build that. I also need a tiny buffet. Can I not make the... Oh no, I'm not making a kitchen, I'm making a dining room. Well, how was everyone's um, Monday? Or Tuesday, if it's Tuesday where you are. My day was very busy for work, and then I spent a good chunk of time playing Final Fantasy XIV on my lunch break, and then I cooked dinner. So I'm very, I've been very busy. So now I can take a little breather. Serving tables, dining tables, and chairs. Okay. So many four. I've also been very much out of the loop on like game announcements and stuff. I have no idea what's going on right now. I know there's been a lot of things happening, but I just haven't been able to keep up lately. I don't know if y'all ever get that way, but yeah. But these doors are ugly. Wait, is this... Looks kind of ghetto. There we go. Trying to work through some washing and work at the same time. Have you as my work music? Well, thank you. I'm very not very pleasant or sounding work music. My apologies, but... Eating a whole box of crackers. <laughs> what kind of crackers? I did all my laundry yesterday. I'm proud of myself. Rosemary crackers? That sounds really good. I love rosemary. Oh, she's sad. Eating French onion dip too, but that's finished. Mmm, you're pounding on that food clay, I love it. I'm lurking friend. Oh, lurk away, Jonathan. I'm trying to get my stream sounds steam sounds to play as they quit on me today. Oh no. I when I came back to streaming too, my sounds my all of my sound stuff was not working too, so I don't know what's happening. One important bit. Somewhere to cook it all. Yes, I need a kitchen. Oh. Pawn voyage. New stuff. Cast iron stove. Puny cutting board. <laughs> a 
Okay, kitchens, blah, blah, blah. You know, I miss having my own... I had a rosemary bush at my old house, and it was just wild. So we had all the rosemary we ever wanted. They require either a cutting board, cooker, griddle, or microwave. Not all objects are required. Kitchen objects are noisy and smell funny, which means they carry a negative decoration score. Oh. Guests will not interact with kitchens. However, kitchens will apply the negative decoration score in an area of effect around them. Uh, so this debuff will affect any bedrooms next to the kitchens, as well as the overall prestige. Oh. Place plenty of decoration items to offset the negative effect of kitchen objects. Okay. That's interesting that kitchens have a debuff, essentially. Um, I have new stuff, they said, right? Yeah. Small refrigerator recipe. I want that. Oh. Okay, I bought it. Wooden footrest recipe. Guests have arrived. Okay. Things are happening. I mean, I guess I'll put the kitchen next to my thing. It would only make sense, but I have to... I don't have any bedrooms downstairs, so that's not a problem. Oh, I did it again. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Stove. Refrigerator. Puny cutting board. <laughs> Puny cutting board. Alright, that should be enough, right? I don't know if it needs to be that big, but... Hey, where'd my stove go? Oh, there it is. Freaked me out for a second. Um, okay. That should be good. Got to new things there for a while. Oh, it's a storage place, okay. Finish the kitchen. I haven't exactly won any cooking competitions out there. <laughs> the smell is definitely all natural. Oh my god. Oh, oh there's so many things. Okay. Cooking cards. Higher level cooking objects will yield new cards in a larger number. Okay. There's a lot. I didn't think this would be card based. Hey, Bear Pair Gaming. Bear Pair Gaming can't speak. Hi, Danny. How are you doing today? 
Well, just zoomed in. I'll give you a shout out. That's a pretty cracked hole. <laughs> that that hole's been through a lot. Like a local in Palm Springs. Oh my. <laughs> Doing good. That's good. I'm I'm doing pretty well myself. I just had a very busy day, so that hole has been through a lot. <laughs> okay, so I need mint. Oh. Fuel. Okay, I need fuel. I need oil mint. Okay, this is much simpler than they were making it out to be. <laughs> oh, I just made a shit ton of tea. It's okay. Feeling a lot better than I did a few days ago. That's good to hear. I'm glad to hear that. You have a gold rupee now. Yes, congratulations. You're getting up there in... <laughs> I almost said you're getting up there in value. That's not what I meant, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you for being such a loyal subscriber. I appreciate that. And more importantly, being a great friend. So, thank you. Increase in value as they age, like a fine wine, yes. Do I have potatoes? Okay, I have to remember not to cook like 5 million things. Um, fuel. I don't have any potatoes. I gotta get potatoes. Great minds think alike. You know, as I've gotten older myself, I have begun to appreciate older, older things too, so. <laughs> Mashed potatoes. Okay, so it's two potatoes. Well, we can put, yeah, just make a bunch. Jesse showed me this game a while back, but haven't had a chance to check it out. It's really fun. It's kind of... How would I describe it? It's a, I guess, a management sim type of game. You have to craft and build and maintain hotels for guests as a bear. You guys need to play this game because bear pair gaming, come on. <laughs> Looks like overcooked. Definitely not overcooked. Um, it's more... It's not really Animal Crossing either, honestly. It's... So, the game essentially has you gathering resources and building resorts for guests to come and stay in, and you have to make sure the resorts are... Um, I mean, it's very little. You don't have to do much. You just have to put in... Build the facilities for the guests and make them happy, and then the more stuff you put into your facilities, the better ratings you get, and the more stuff you can unlock, and the more money you can get. So it's just kind of that. Um, and on the side you gather and you craft, but the purpose is to put all that stuff into your properties, so. Um, it's very laid back. It, when I played the original demo, it was, um, it was more, it felt more hectic, but I think when they released the final game, it's not, it's definitely not, it's very, like, low-key, um, casual chill game. You don't have to really rush to do anything, which is nice. Yeah, the art style is very unique. It's like a... It just reminds me like a Where's Waldo book almost, you know? Okay. 
Wait, why does it say? I did cook mashed potatoes. Oh, maybe I have to hold on to it. No, I just want... Okay. There we go. Waldo popping out of a bush, I know. <laughs> it's creeping in the bushes like he always does. I did. I finished some cooking. I'm a good bear. Well, you certainly did something. <laughs> but it's better than my first try. Oh, new recipes. Thank you. You know, I'm not paying attention to... Oh. Maybe I shouldn't steal from her fridge. Okay, now I can put them here. Oh, my resort's not even open yet here, so it's fine. Did you serve the food? I did. Cooked your first batch of food for someone else. That's nothing to sneeze at. Now you better make sure there's always food in there for folks to eat. You can make the same stuff, sure, but you'll run out of ingredients quick, so you better learn how to cook more stuff than mash and tea. I've got plenty of recipes from the captain's cookbook. Come by my little booth sometimes, I could always use the coin. Where's your booth? This booth? Oh, this booth. Oh. Can you name your resorts? I don't think so. Like, my first one is still called Dinky Shed or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just gonna buy these all. Might as well. I have plenty of coins. Sounds naughty. <laughs> it's the dinky bear shed. Well, those are all cheap recipes. Okay, cool. Um, I feel like... Took shop. I feel like I'm missing a shop that I need to be, like, revisiting. here I guess oh are we open for business now press the green button <laughs> camp is ready dear valued partner here at pond voyage we take steps every day to recognize and appreciate our most valuable associates for their commitment and contributions you currently do not meet the criteria for recognition or appreciation. In fact, our metrics suggest your performance falls under our detestation level. <laughs> wow. Your recent development into outdoors leisure for this property has upgraded you to disregard. <laughs> Poor Hank. You're now one step closer towards achieving something in your life <laughs> that has any semblance of value. There are many, many steps left. The next one, in fact, is meeting our criteria for a property in this location, which you should observe in order to be further entrusted with our guest experience. Oh, new stuff. Okay, cool. Pond Voyage. Oh, there are some new things. Better beds. Oh, yes. I know the shark is very rude. Oh, better bathroom stuff, too. Nice. I want these. Um, 
It would be the shark. I, I, he's funny, but he's also very rude. Um, let's buy these better bathroom things too, I guess. Rounded chair, sturdy oak table. I should get all of this stuff. Small buffet. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm all out of money. I'm gonna have to wait for stuff to happen. Are you going to demonstrate for us, Clay? Okay, maybe I have to go... Actually, actually... You should do it. Hey Josh, welcome in. I'll give you a shout out. Hey, I made like, half the art on here and Jason and Gino's made the sub badges. Like y'all are just so awesome. Thank you. Oh you did the cat? Do? I was trying to do <laughs> I was trying See, to Gino was right. <laughs> I was trying to do the heart thing. I'm doing good tonight, Josh. I had a very busy day, so I'm just happy to be playing a cozy game tonight. I used the super hammer attack on my Stardew Valley cat. <laughs> it's a good thing that doesn't actually hurt it. satisfying it, it, it was I got a lot of stuff done today I did laundry I um, no I didn't do laundry today I did laundry yesterday I cooked dinner today and I also finished a lot of work unfortunately I have to go into the office tomorrow which is kind of a bummer but Um, what was I going to do? Oh, I should go check on my, uh, other resorts. I guess I should open this one, too. How do stairs work? You're 100% impure person. Commutes? Yeah, commutes suck. I wonder if I should move the kitchen over here. I feel like the kitchen could be Did smaller. one of Fox's mods get here in stream on time? <laughs> Just barely. Hey, Phil. You still enjoying this game? I am. There's a lot more stuff going on, but it's definitely enjoyable still. How do I... No. Oh, there. It's like, I want to edit my room. You're starting to miss work a little? I don't. <laughs> I don't miss being the in-person, at least, at all. Um, let's see... Hey, welcome in, Raiders. Mr. Dragon, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. Possum Gamer, welcome. 
How do I do this again? Edit. Shrink this down a bit. There we go. How y'all doing? Thank you, Phil. Hey, listen. Um, yes, you must toil for your god. Phasmophobia. Oh. But honestly, I need more followers because this this shit sucks. Supposed to be a pyramid scheme. I'm supposed to be at the top. Shay, thank you for the first time chat. Foundation built on bodies. You know, like the real pyramids. Always such a chill time here in this game is adorable. It is. This game is very adorable. I haven't played it for a while, so. I'm trying to remember how to do everything again. Welcome in, everyone. I couldn't have two cards. Phasmophobia can be fun with friends. I've played it a few times with friends, but it's been a minute, so I'm sure the game has changed a lot since I last played. Like, probably a lot. Mary, thank you for the sub. Thank you for the four months, Mary. How are you doing today? Okay, let's... I can probably shrink the dining room, too. Mm. A blast from the past. I know. My games with friends currently are Stardew Valley and Fortnite. I love Stardew Valley. It's one of the greats. Okay, let's cut this room down a bit, too. We have to be good about our space economy here. Okay. I'm excited for Haunted Chocolate here. Me too. Anything that anything that that dev does now, I'm going to be watching very carefully for, honestly, because Stardew Valley was so good. Oops, too much. There, okay, now I can scoot some stuff in. Thank you for the follow shade. Honestly, I haven't been coughing lately, just when I wake up in the morning. I'm glad you're feeling better though, Danny, oh my gosh. Stopping in for a moment to say hi, I'm on my way home. From a disaster vacation situation? Went to go camping, got smoked out. Uh-oh. Stopped to get some foods on the way back, how are you? I'm hoping you're okay, Mary. I'll need to look that one up. It's gonna be good, I think. Very normal with recovery, it's cause you're not clearing your airway regularly while sleeping. Oh boy. I'm glad you're all doing better. I get worried about you when you're sick. Okay, um... Let's... let's get this... Oh, I don't have any money, do I? I'm in poor bear now. I'm kind of a poor bear now. Got there last night and it was real bad. Oh no. Get to go home and cuddle kitty later. <laughs> oh, earlier. The realities of West Coast life. Oh boy. Well, I'm glad you're okay, Mary. Okay, what can we do to improve our kitchen? Oh, we can use rustic shelves. Cupboards, kitchen shelves, country wood shelf. I have no inventory space. Can probably put a carpet down. Well, not a carpet in the kitchen. No. Wildfire smoke. Oh, yikes! Stopped at some swimming holes on the way back. Oh, cool. Couldn't even see 20 feet away. Oh my god. Better that you're not there, yes. I rolled in the day we did too. Well, that's very rude. <laughs> How dare.
Oh, I might not have a lot of space for all this stuff here. Uh, how do I... Oh, crap, I know there's a way to rotate, but I don't remember how to do it. <laughs> oh, there we go. I have my food, so I'm off. Well, thank you for stopping in, Mary. Enjoy your food. Have a safe drive back home. It's giving me a little Sims as well. Yeah, a little bit with the um, creating the spaces and everything. Oh, I need to put a table in here. Thank you for the bits, Mary. Oh my goodness, thank you. I appreciate that. All of the bits and the subs and any don't and any tips really help out. You know, it's just uh, any little bit helps. So thank you. Where can I put the front desk here? Maybe up front. Oh, I'll figure it out. Let's just just do that there. Oh, thank you, Shade. I do need to hydrate. I need to find a place for my water bottle. <laughs> I don't have enough dust space. West Coast weather being smoke is a legitimate thing. That's, yeah. That's crazy. That smoke is the weather. Okay, I have no bedrooms here yet, but... Oh, I should have put the kitchen on the outside. Bye, Mary. Talk to you soon. Hmm. Sorry, I didn't realize my account wasn't verified. Oh, no problem, Dragon. Thank you for doing that. I still have some security measures in place, so... Thank you for bearing with me. Um... I actually don't know if I like how I did this. Damn it. How would I do... Maybe I should have put the kitchen in the... Dining room down there. It's very similar to here in AU. We have a lot of bushfires here in the summer. Oh yeah. A number of times the whole city was just in a red haze. That's terrifying. I slept like trash today but unlocked Darth Vader in Fortnite. <laughs> Husband made this delicious rice and veggie dish. I made Oyako Donbidi for dinner tonight, which I actually kind of want to eat now, but... I'm kind of waffling about how I want to do this now, because... I should have put the kitchen on the outside. Because it shouldn't be close to any bedrooms. Man. Thank you for the follow, Dragon. I appreciate it. And also, thank you for the raid. I appreciate that as well. Okay, well, let me let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. I want this to do, be the way I want it to be. So let's. Um, although I'm gonna have to. Oh, hang on. I don't think I need this satellite dish yet. Honestly, just life. Now, when we're in El Nino, we get bushfires. Oh, when we're in La Nino, we get floods. Oh boy. <laughs> Either way. Finally gave in and bought an AC unit. Oh, nice. The Pacific Northwest in the USA notoriously doesn't have much central. Yeah, it's we ha we got a um we got a portable AC recently to replace our really old window unit, thankfully, um, and that's been nice. I was kind of afraid of portable ACs at first, but it's working really well, so I can't complain. 
Okay, how am I gonna do this? Let's get rid of... Wait, is this gonna destroy my food? Hold on. This is such a pain, but I should have thought about this a little bit better. After last summer, when our bedroom recorded 104 degrees? No way. You had five cups of coffee already, Clay. Oh my god. Not having AC is such a wild concept. Thought it was standard everywhere. Yeah, I've heard that in the PNW there's not much AC. Well, in Hawaii too, there's not much central air, honestly. Not in residential buildings, at least. Unless you're rich. Which I'm not. <laughs> Okay, let's move all this stuff to my inventory. Because... I would like to redo this. Um, wait, okay, let's leave that for now. Oh, this is so annoying. Hold on. It was really hot, we had to hide in our basement. Oh no. That does not sound good. I rarely called 5 p.m. broil hour because the evening sun would scorch my living space. That sounds terrible. Pokemon Unite and new Pokemon are coming next month. Also kind of want to play Bayo 1 and 2. You know, I still need to play a Bayonetta game. I have not yet. At all. Which, I'm sure some of you will be like, what? I love how I can delete the room and get back my investment. Can I just delete this room too? Do I get my stuff back? I better have gotten my stuff back. I'll be very upset if not. Okay, good. Okay. Um, I take the vibe. I'm glad you do, Dragon. Bayonetta is fierce. I guess it depends on how long you want to play. Can I wait for the new Pokemon game to come out? I know, I want it too, so badly. Bayo is definitely a gay icon. <laughs> it's just instant, so it's not even real coffee. I... Admit, I don't have a coffee machine or anything because I don't drink much coffee, but, um, like, at all. But I do have, like, some instant stuff. Can that fit? No, I think don't think that will fit everything that I want to do. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, there. All right. Let's put all this kitchen stuff back in. It depends if you're a fan of action games. Uh, I'm off and on with action games, I feel like. French press, ooh. It's not the good sheet from the cafe. <laughs> okay, this should be a little bit better now. Now I can build bedrooms on this side. Oh, damn it. I'm off and on with action. Yeah, it depends for me. Like, I'm not super into action games very much. I, I mean, I, it's not that I don't like them. It's, it's just that I don't often get into them very much, so it really depends. Like, I don't know what you would consider Metroid, but I like the Metroid Prime games and Metroid games. Um, I don't- I guess they're not really action? I don't know what you would consider them. Okay. 
platformer. Metroidvania. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if this is big enough for this space. Oh, I made the rooms a little bit smaller too. Let's, let's extend it out a bit. There we go. Metroid is still in genre. I mean, I guess they are, right? Oh, there's not enough space there. whole metroidvania thing right i love metroid dread metroid dread was so good it was so fun it was so hard oh clay i just saw your that's not a hot take for me because i could not get into rcs either it was not for me i just couldn't get into it I had a hard time with it. It just it was very grindy and it was not what I wanted from a Pokemon game, so Yeah. Those damn Emmy kept killing me. <laughs> the Emmys were terrifying. <laughs> it was like playing a horror game almost. Okay, good. Now um Wait, can I cook this? Egg dippy. Eggs, bread, and wood. Bread. How do I get bread? I even tried a second time recently and it's just not sticking. Yeah, I tried again too and I, I, I could not get into it. Sadly. You know, I, I love Pokemon games, but I just... It's not for me. I have so many. Okay, I forgot to put these things back. There we go. Um, let me go check out my other resorts. <laughs> Battle Frontier and Heart Gold Silver was my favorite. Oh. I wish there were more difficulty level. Uh, th there were difficulty levels. The game are so precious, but I just steamroll through them, except for the post-game content. Yeah, Pokemon is always very simple. I loved Arceus, but after I beat it, hype kind of died down. Scarlet and Violet will be a mix of Arceus and Sword and Shield. I'm hoping that I like it. I Arceus was just yeah, it was just not for me, unfortunately. I know people who really did enjoy it, but. Ooh. Pine wood, synthetic sheets. I have a bunch of those. I have more pine wood here. Uh, where is my thing? Here it is. Yes. Totodile is my favorite. I love Totodile. He's a cute. And Garchomp. <laughs> Garchomp is my absolute favorite Pokemon. Wait, do I not have any guests here? God damn it. Okay, wait. Uh, let's see. Time to swap out these beds for better beds. Um, wait, are they even gonna fit in here though? Let's see. In these tiny rooms. They are kind of big. That still works though. Shiny Umbreon. Let's see what they do with it. I know the community will shift if they force the competitive scene to the shift. I remember how dominant Stealth Rock was. I've never played much competitive Pokemon, so I'm not sure. Um. Uh, 
There we go. Those beds are huge. They almost take up the whole room. Got plenty of supplies though. Oh, this is barely gonna fit in this room. Just move everything on the side for now. Is it gonna fit at all? Yes, okay. We'll just we'll make it work. There we go, yeah. Doesn't have to actually be functional, so just move it around like this. There we go. Okay, now I should be able to accommodate more guests in here. I have 12 perfect reviews. Okay, they're all 15. Uh, oh, some people want even higher than that. Oh, let's just sort all these people in. That are lower than 15. Or lower than, yeah. Okay, good. Oh, I have a bunch of rooms here. Um, what else increases comfort? Oh, that increases comfort too. Oh, okay. I should even be saving these old beds. I probably don't need to. Okay, how's this one going? Ten, nineteen. I spent five hours organizing 1500 Pokemon in my Pokemon home. Oh my god. <laughs> I love how dedicated some of y'all are to that. I'm, you know, I've never really played competitive Pokemon myself. I'm, I'm very casual when it comes to the Pokemon scene, so. Um, I mostly just play to, like, collect as many as I can. Can I upgrade, upgrade the bathrooms here? I can. Pokemon is the only game that stuck with me since it came out back with red and blue. There, I have a lot of series that I've played like consistently. 
most of them are Nintendo series. Um, Pokemon, for sure. Zelda. Although Zelda has been basically non-existent for a little while. Um, oops. Metroid games. I don't really play all the Metroid games, but... Um, oh, and of course Final Fantasy. Old Mario games are really fun. There we go. Better facilities here. Oh, that just gives decor. My husband is still waiting for Breath of the Wild 2. I know, that's like forever. It's been so long since we've had a new Zelda game. It's been really long. Really, really long. I think a part of me wanted to like... I was gonna stream Breath of the Wild, but... Um, I don't know. I think a part of me is just waiting for the new one to come out. <laughs> there we go, replace your wardrobes. Something more fancy. Um, what else can we do? These also give comfort. These too. You never finish the first. I feel like I'll be a skeleton by the time it's released. <laughs> I hope not. I really want to play it. I never finished the first Breath of the Wild. I completely finished the first Breath of the Wild. Like, completely. Oh, did I take that away? My favorite Zelda is Majora's Mask, although I'm very interested in the Awakening remake. The Awakening remake is really good. It's very cute. And it's very, um... What is the word? Uh, I can't think of the word, but it's it's they do homage to the original very well. It's still pretty difficult. I died quite a bit. A tiny room there. Majora's Mask. Okay, so Majora's Mask. I have a love hate relationship with that game because I love the concept and the um the mechanics of the game, but there are some parts of the game like the Goron rolling and the dungeon layouts to me that, in my opinion, didn't age very well. Some of the dungeons are very obtuse in what you have to do, and um, some of the mechanics just do not translate well. The 3D, the 3DS version of the game is superior, which I wish they would release that somewhere that we can access it, because I love the 3DS version of Majora's Mask. It's so much better. They did a good job with it. The final Goron challenge. Yeah, that one in particular is not fun, but... And they made it in. That's true, they did make it really quick. And they used all, like, existing assets and everything, which is really cool. I just think it it 
could do with some polish, you know? Just a little bit. Just to make things a little bit more friendly. Okay, that's pretty good. This is going to be a smaller room, so... Um, I'm very much an OOT as a kind of Zelda fan. I love Ocarina of Time, too. I got to play Ocarina of Time on stream. I have not yet in all my years of streaming, which I need to do because I love that game. I was one of those people who only played, like, Link to the Past, and then when Ocarina of Time came out, I was like, wow, this is so cool. I think the first time, like, I stepped out into what is it called is it called hyrule field um from the forest in the beginning of the game it's just like this sense of awe like wow look what this looks like compared to what it used to look like on super nintendo not that link to the past looked bad but you know go on rolling in great bay temple didn't age well yeah great bay temple was all the temples in that game they're good but they're also kind of obtuse, like the way you have to pro progress to them is not always immediately obvious. So I think that was a little frustrating. Um, not that it has to be immediately obvious, but it shouldn't be so convoluted. So, um, play OOT. I will. I will play Ocarina of Time. I have to finish these other games first. I want to at least get a few more of... Uh, Baron Breakfast streams in, and I want to finish Final Fantasy IV. Maybe after that I'll consider Ocarina of Time. Might be a good time to start that one. Um, I really wish I could play the 3DS one though. Like that would make my day. Um. Majora's Mask and the Married Couple. Oh yeah, that one is really, that's a good storyline. Anju and Kafe. Yes. Iconic. Okay, how are, how are my rooms doing now here? I never played Master Quest. Master Quest is good. Oh, bedroom 3 has no bathroom facilities. Which one is bedroom 3? Oh, down here. Hmm. I'm going to have to remedy that somehow. Not at the moment, though. I think we're good for now. Okay. Um, that's all good. Okay, let's head back to the Highland area. It's never been re-released. Oh, right. It's cool. It, the, some of the changes they made to Master Quest were very odd, like... Well, I guess I shouldn't spoil it for you since you've never played it, but like the way they change some of the dungeons is very like weird, some of them. I hope you get a chance to play it someday, because yeah, some of the way they change stuff is like, this is odd, but it works. The dad locked in the closet turned into a mummy. That was terrifying. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm gonna take a short 
break, I'm going to stand up and stretch and check on the dinner that I have sitting on the stove. I mean, it's sitting on low, so I'm not worried about it, but I'm always worried, like, my food's going to, like, something's going to happen to it while it's sitting there. Um, but I will be back shortly. I think we will go for, like, maybe, how many, how long have we been streaming? Hour and a half. Maybe, like, 45 minutes to an hour more, maybe, after this. But let me take a quick break. Um, I will be right back. Put some music on for you while we're waiting. All right, I'm back. Sorry. Dun -dun. Thank you for the lurks, everybody. My food is still on the stove. My husband is otherwise occupied, so I was like, okay, why aren't you eating your dinner? He's been sleeping, like, during the day lately because he's been having a hard time sleeping at night, so his sleep schedule is so off. Like, he's... He only just woke up like a couple hours ago, and he stays up all night, so it's kind of weird now that we're on opposite schedules. I need to be good and wind down so I can go to bed correctly. Okay, Josh, thank you for the lurk. Thank you all for the lurks. I appreciate it. Um, okay. So I should have some money coming in soon. I'm going to put more stuff in my kitchen. Let's see. Why does it look like there's a shadow on me? That's weird. Really nice chatting with you all and good to see you live. Thank you, Josh. I appreciate that. I'll see you again soon, I'm sure. Um, going to get this resort ready to open as well. I like how I literally just take things out of the garbage. Okay. Let's put more decorations in this kitchen. Oh, this wood pile can go over here, maybe. Bedrooms. Let's see. Can probably do one here. I need a bed. Damn it. We are high enough level now where we need to just be doing the fancy beds at this point. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if I want it there though because I don't really want to put a bedroom there because that's the I could put one here. It's going to be such a weird layout. I guess I could put one there too, or maybe like a bathroom. Oh, I need a bathroom as well. Hmm. Let me think about this. I'm sure I can make this all much better, but... Can't go there. Ugh. I 
could do... Maybe I could do a bathroom here. And maybe a room down here. I can always redesign this too later, it's fine. I should have planned this out a little bit better. Maybe if I had a room here. Oh, that's a big area though. I can maybe expand this room. Or I could put the bathroom down here. I could fit there. And then perhaps... Well, let's see. Watching this guy on TikTok and I wish people were more like him. He's so freaking precious. We need more precious people, yes. What are you watching? There are invalid objects? Oh, the door. Oh, and that doesn't reach up there. Mm. Okay, wait, how do I want to do this? My name is Julian, who was giving a response to comment someone left. Person is undergoing cancer treatment and they wanted to let him know. And Julian just was responding and then started crying. Oh. I, I tend to cry too when I see people crying. My husband is worse than I am though, as far as that's concerned. Ugh. You know, I'm really reconsidering my choices now. Let let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, I have an idea. Have an idea. Reconsidering my choices. Okay. Let's move the dining room. He has really inspired me to rethink how I do content. He actually reminds me of you, like you're both actually very calm individuals, very thoughtful. Well, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate being compared to someone so lovely sounding. No, not dining room, not dining. Oh no, yes, dining room. I think that's why I connected to you. Oh, Clay. Well, I appreciate you two very much. Really? Is this going to be a problem? Oh, there we go. Oh, I don't like that, though. I just like what you represent. Well, I appreciate that, Clay. Thank you. I know what it is. I'm going to have to reposition my lights. I'm bothered that my camera is, like, casting a shadow on my chest. It's annoying. But thank you, Clay. I appreciate you saying that. Um, as you know, I have many days where I doubt myself, so I'm just like, I appreciate those words a lot. Oh, he started following me on TikTok. That's even more cool. Okay, this should work a little bit better. So, 
Oh, I think all my stuff went to my storage. New. <laughs> Well, that's awesome, Clay. I'm glad you made some connections. Oh, wait. Did it not go to my storage? Did I just lose the items? No. I think I just lost the items. Oh no. That's not cool. I wonder if it warned me that that was going to happen and I just didn't read it. <laughs> it's entirely possible. I'm gonna have to head to bed, head out now so I can wash up before I attempt to go to bed. Okay, Phil, well, thank you for hanging out tonight. I appreciate that. I hope you have a good night. Everyone say good night to Phil. Oh, yeah, I think I lost my stoves. That's rude. Well, now I know. I have to be careful with that. Oh, wait, no. That was the dining room, not the kitchen. My brain's not working. Okay. Hope you enjoyed your day off. Yeah, I hope you did too, Phil. Okay, well, I have extra kitchen equipment if I need it. But I still think I lost my... Yeah, my table is not here either. Uh, okay, good to know that that happens. Hey, Kaibar, welcome in. How's it going tonight? Uh, okay, dining table. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know if that'll fit in my space. I hope it does. If it doesn't, I'll be a little sad. Oh, it can have a lot of sweet seats. Good. Oh, there it is. Okay. That works out. My night's been pretty good so far, Kyber. How about yours? I'm just ha happy to be relaxing because I had such a busy day today. Oh, nope, nope. Okay, there we go. So much m management today that I needed that I didn't realize I needed to do. Okay, good. Now I can build bedrooms. This should be much better. Okay. Yeah, that is much better. Um. Now we can do like a maybe a, a bathroom here. How do I want to lay this out? Can have a room. Maybe we'll do a room here, a room here, bathroom here, bathroom, bathroom, bedroom, bedroom. Maybe two bedrooms. So 
little bathroom here. Er. Yeah. That should work. Okay. Bathroom there, and then uh, a bedroom here. How big is this influence here? Maybe that needs to be bigger. Okay, that covers that. And then maybe I'll do another bedroom here and a smaller bathroom down here. I can make this a nice big room actually. And then a room here. This requires a lot more planning than I would think. Okay, so then we can do a smaller bathroom down here. Can I move the store? Oh, no. Oh, I can. Probably don't want a window like that in the bathroom. Okay. Oh, Ugh, I just forgot. Gotta do this first. Oh, I'm running out of copper plates. I gotta go get some more stuff. Um, okay, let's try this again. One more bathroom here. Too big. And then, oh wait, maybe I can put the door on this side, and then put another bedroom here. Yeah, there we go. Maximize space. Don't need this window. Oh, that's not center, that bothers me. Okay, there, we'll just do that. Um, yeah. Oh, shit, I didn't make a bed. Oh, I can still place the room. Oh, I just need to put a bed in it now. Okay, good. I didn't realize I could do that first. Okay, perfect. Two bedrooms downstairs with their own bathrooms. And... I could, no, I could squeeze another bedroom there, but... Um, okay. I mean, you need to go foraging now. Oh, it's raining. Oh, my space is limited here too. <laughs> I don't like limited space. Footrests, vanity tables. Okay, let's see if I can fit all that crap into the rooms. Hmm. 
down. There we go. Now they're exactly the same room. Okay. Oh, look at this small bear. <laughs> it's small with an O. Critter totem. Get some carpets for the hallways. Let's see. Oh, it's really small. I need something to put them on. put the carpets in the room as well. Yeah, there we go. This game is so zen. I love all the things that it's making me do. Coffee tables. Happy fish black. Wall stuff is good. Oh, they probably should have lights in their room as well, huh? That would be good. It's windy. Oh, it's kind of big, this coffee table. Oh, it's so cute. Ooh, 28 comfort. That's pretty good. Well, um, I guess I need to make I, uh, just trash. I don't want to dump everything. How do I?
I forgot I can stack all these things. Alright, there we go. I find it funny that I have to cook all the food too. Butter? Where do I get butter? In fact, where do I get all those things? Oh, I need more sophisticated kitchens for this. There is so much to do in this game. There isn't a single food in this world that tastes good without salt. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to take her food. Okay, so she has recipes. I'm trying to find out where I can buy butter and stuff like that. I'm thinking there's some place I can do it, but... Oh, those are just tools. I've got money coming in. Good. Oh, if this was like Final Fantasy XIV, I would make my own butter, but... <laughs> Oh, analog darning, darling, thank you for the raid. Hi, Zach Running Cheese, welcome in. Analog, thank you. How are you doing tonight? I'll give you a shout out. Hey, listen! Look at her, look at Fiona. She's driving like a fucking maniac. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> what the fuck's she doing? We're gonna fucking hit her. It's a great clip. <laughs> Did you see her? I totally hit her. <laughs> I totally hit her. Hey, Zan, welcome in. Analog, thank you for the first time chat. How are you doing tonight? Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. How was Symphony of the... Oh, Symphony of the Night. Excellent game choice. How was Symphony? How do I get butter? I just want butter. Just trying it out and learning? Oh cool. One of my favorite Castlevania games for sure, so. I died a million times. <laughs> it's alright. It's not an easy game. I only played it for the first time like a couple years ago, and I really liked it. I'm a I'm a pretty good Castlevania fan, I have to say, but I haven't played many of them. I like the ones I've played, so. Daily Life, hi, thank you for the thank you for the first time chat. Oh my god, and I totally just missed the follow. I'm so sorry. Wait, hang on, hang on. P Rush Pirate, thank you for the follow. <laughs> I had to look at my dashboard. This is a very cute game called Baron Breakfast that we were playing. It's about a 
bear who ends up running a whole bunch of hotels <laughs> somehow. It's like a management sim game, basically. And I'm just trying to figure out how to get butter. I want butter. This is a fairly, well, I guess it's been a little while, but it's been a fairly new ending game that was just released. Um, yeah, do you just collect resources and craft things for your hotels and try to make your guests happy? That's essentially what it is. Where to butter? I don't know where to butter is. I don't know where to get butter. Maybe I can steal it. <laughs> this doesn't belong to me. There must be a way I can get that stuff. I don't know how though. And so I'm checking out all my other properties here. It's funny, all these, uh, all the guests used to be afraid of me before when I was naked, but now that I'm wearing pants, um, they seem to be okay with me now. Okay, let's see. Oh, I have only one active guest. Okay. New to shaming game. I know. As long as we're clothed, I guess we're okay. Don't shame the bear for not wearing pants. I know. Okay, so we have 20... This one has no... I'm gonna have to fix that. Oh, I'm not gonna put anyone in that room for the time being. Um, but we have 20 comfort. Wait, why do I have no... Uh... Mm -hmm. How come I don't have any guest requests? That can't be right. I don't have any. Alright, well. I'm lurking and heard you were naked. <laughs> My bear was naked, but now he has pants on, so no one's scared of him anymore. I have lots of five, four, and five star reviews here. Um, what happened to all my guests? Hmm. That's weird. I love a fictional social media, I know. Oh, I just finished a job, that's right. You're one step forward for escaping mediocrity, but you're not there yet. <laughs> Thanks. You must now successfully complete the following. Build two times level one bathrooms. Oh, a trinket that will help you carry more things. <gasps> I want that. Oh, that means I need to build another bathroom though. Hmm. Let me see. Look at how cute this bear is, though. He's really cute. Especially with bears in hotels. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can fit another bathroom here. I can probably make this smaller. Wait, how do I do? There we go. Yeah, cut off some of that. Um, in City Skylines, there's a fake Twitter where you can see what your citizens tweet about. Oh, that's pretty cool. This, this one's not that sophisticated, but they do leave like reviews for you. This looks like a game I'd enjoy. It's 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 a very cute game. I just have a hard time like figuring out. Um. Where can I put this window? Let's put it over there. Let's put a window in the bathroom. It's right by the bathtub. Okay. I need a front desk. Maybe we can put the bathroom right here. Yeah. It's gonna be a bit of a stretch, but... 
You know, I still need to play City Skylands. I have not ever played it. There we go. This is really tight, but it's all right. We'll make it work. Wait, can you even- can I even fit through that? Can people walk through that? Let's see. Yes, okay, good, we're good. I just need to move that jukebox a little bit. Or I can move the front desk, maybe. Can I move the front desk? Yeah, let's move it there. There we go. Oh, god. Do you like city builders? Like Sim City? I'm not familiar enough with the genre, I'm sorry. Is that an Earl? Oh my god. Hi Earl, welcome in. Um let me see. I yeah. Yeah, Earl is here. Oh, I don't have enough copper. Mm. Well, let's see if I can find some here. You know, let me shout out a bunch of other people too because I know Zan streams as well. Um, hey, listen. Let's see. While I'm doing this mediocrity. Okay, Carbar, good night. Thank you for stopping in. Everyone say good night to Kaibar. Nalog. Oh, don't zoom in. No, stop zooming in. Okay. Uh we got Zan. Um we got Analog. Oh, we gotta shout out Zach, of course. Hey, yes, thank you. Listen. Good Morrowind. Very nice. And oh, we can shout out Earl too, I guess. Let's see what clip we get. <laughs> I'm always worried about Earl's clips. <laughs> hey, listen. Oh, did I just cancel it? Damn it! Try again. No, I'm just worried about that one hey, clip. Listen. Y'all know the clip. <laughs> I hate this. Although I, I love this clip. <laughs> you don't know the clip? It's it'll come up one day. And you'll immediately know it's the clip that I'm talking about. Do I need to do- yes, you should go digging. It's the loudest clip in the history of Twitch. <laughs> it is. That it is. You know, Clay, I didn't shout you out because I know that you get embarrassed when I do, but... Um, I think I'm gonna shout you out anyway. <laughs> You know why? Uh, Although, like, everyone is drinking on a Saturday night, so I reckon you're like... Yeah, so everyone's drunk on a and I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking crushing it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off, boy. <laughs> you should just go the other way in the middle, and then just wait for each fist. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, I have to check. I feel like my shoutout clips are really loud all of a sudden. I have to fix that later. <laughs> I tell you, my audio things keep changing. I don't know what's going on. I keep trying to adjust my audio and my OBS just keeps fighting against me. Drunk smack with balls, yes. Not the one with- it is the Deli Bird one, I believe it's a Deli Bird. They therefore weren't too loud for us? Okay, good. Good to know. Maybe it's my own volume in my ear that's too loud. 
Were they too soft? Can you could you guys hear the clips? I never know with audio sometimes. And I have my my audio passing through so many different things. Like I have a mixer where all the volume, all the sounds from my stream come through into my headphones. So sometimes I forget how loud things actually are. Just good and bad. Sounded fine. Okay, thank you guys. Well, OBS has taken to changing my microphone settings every time I start it. So I have to keep setting my microphone to my Blue Yeti every time I start. I don't know why. It's annoying. You're trying to be more okay with all that. It's well, I, I appreciate that, Clay, and um, I'm happy that you're trying, and I'm sorry for, for just shouting you out anyway, but I really enjoy you, so thank you for letting me do that. I find the view mid- yeah, that's what I look at too, and I almost feel like my game might be a little too soft, but I don't want my game to overpower like shout out clips or my voice, so I think it's okay. It's, it was really loud when I first started though, so I don't know. Is that all the metal I'm going to get from this today? Man. Okay, well. Oftentimes those audio things are Windows things more than OBS. That's possible analog, for sure. I never know what's going on with my computer. My computer does like to change my default headset and microphone a lot too, so... It's fun. So much fun. <laughs> Wait, this is not where I want to be. On the whole, I try to set my game quiet. Yeah. So I think the game, I like to at least hear the game so there's background noise, you know, and if there's really cool music in the game too, of course, or sound effects that I want to share with you all, then yeah. I don't really like being against silence, which is funny because I'm okay with silence when it comes to conversations, but like on stream, I feel like I always need to have something behind the sound. So like it has to either be the game sound or if we're in the chatting screen or a break screen, it's like my playlist. So on stream, I'm not comfortable with silence. Like I, I feel like there should always be some kind of audio output, uh, but that's just me. Definitely not a standard or anything of any kind. <laughs> Okay, um, let's see, I want to do... Well, I guess we're not going to find the butter today, that's fine. No butter, it's alright. We'll have to make do without butter. Get one more bathroom in here. Okay, good. Yeah, this place is looking pretty good now. I have no active guests. Um, crap. This room on the side is tiny. I might just get rid of this room. I just have four nice rooms. Yeah, let's do that. I play music so I don't stream as well, so I feel that. Yeah, me too. I don't want it to be like super quiet, even though I'm constantly talking, as you guys can see. I never stop talking on stream. I should probably just be quiet and let play the game sometimes, but I can't do that. <laughs> I just have to keep talking. I, I promise I don't really like the sound of my own voice, but I just... Yeah, I think this room can go. Yeah. I might be able to put some decorations there or something. You get to hear all the thing. <laughs> yeah, that's why. I just, I just keep talking. Talk, talk, talk. I guess we can leave these things outside just to keep the decorations up in the hotel. Maybe we can make it a little seating area or something. Talk away. <laughs> like I said, you have a very calm voice. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. 
Okay, I think this hotel is... It's called just called the Motel. Maybe I can change the name. Can I change the name? Would it be at the front desk? Oh, it's bothering me that these doors aren't lined up. Oh, I guess they can't. They should let us change the name. That would be fun. <laughs> it doesn't really make sense, but that's fine. Okay. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, I can replace the beds here. I use the VU meters to get an idea of the difference between my voice and the game audio. There's always some tweaking involved. So like if I'm around minus 10 to 15, I keep my other audio around minus 35. Yeah, so I look at that too. Like my voice is kind of, yeah, around minus 10 or 15. And I try to keep the game audio significantly lower as well as the background music. This is a really good trick though, uh, to look at the meters because I never used to and I just try to guess that doesn't work. Um, but the meters are a really good gauge for figuring out your audio but I still worry like I still worry because I worry about everything okay let's see how we can finagle this um, V meters are more accurate than our headphones. Yeah. Very good point. Can't fit anything in this room. No. There we go. I don't have anything going through headphones. I always just look at the VU meters. Ah. Yeah, I can hear... Well, of course I can hear the game audio. I can hear the background music that I play in my headphones, so... I like to have that on. Um, but all the audio I have goes through my, my headphones. Get rid of some of these windows. Put windows in the bathrooms. <laughs> I spend so much of my life doing audio design and mixing. Oh, well thank you. That helps that helps a lot then. I should definitely heed your words, because you know this stuff. Damn it, I just want to move the lamp. No. Gonna look and get ready for bed. Okay, thank you. For, thank you, Analog. Everyone say goodnight to Analog. Thank you for the raid as well. I appreciate it. You have a good night. Okay. These rooms are looking a little crowded, but more comfortable somehow. Wow, this room is really cramped. Well, I guess it still works. Okay, that was a lot of work, but... Oh, 25, yes, on each, that is good, okay. That's very good.
Ooh, now I can get these more expensive guests in here. And they're gonna pay more money. I don't I know that's not how it really works in real life, but Can you imagine if you could tell a hotel, I want these exact specifications and I will pay you depending on how much I am satisfied. That would not fly in real life. Blanche. Okay. There we go. Got people booked. Should have some good reviews coming in soon. As someone who works with artists, that would sound horrid. I know, right? Can you imagine people like, well, I didn't really like your work, so I'm only going to pay you $5 for it. <laughs> A fanny pack? Oh, do I get to wear it? Oh, I want to wear a fanny pack. Three level three bedrooms in A24. Don't I already have that done? I feel like I do, yeah. <laughs> what else you got, Mr. Sign? Raise prestige to level four. Okay, well that's gonna have to wait. Oh no, I am a level four. Thank you. More money for me. We hope that you <laughs> The shark is always throwing shade at me, He's so mean. Build one level three bathroom and host two guests with hygienic trait. Oh, okay. That I definitely have to wait then. I've amassed enough cassettes I once again had to order more shelf boards. <laughs> uh, you know, we definitely have a storage issue in our own home. Like my husband has lots of belongings, so and we don't really have enough shelving or space for a lot of it. So a lot of it is just sitting in boxes. I'd love to, and the part that's hard too is, you know, we rent, so there's the distinct possibility that one day the owner's going to be like, no, we're going to sell, or we don't want you guys living there anymore for whatever reason, or they raise our rent too high, so we're going to have to move. So I'm always hesitating to like accumulate too much furniture and fixtures because it's like, what if we have to move one day, you know? So I always get worried about that. Like, I like our landlady, and it sounds like they want a long-term tenant, which we've been, like, here almost 10, 10 years now, I think? Jeez. So, um, maybe nine years. But I still worry about it, you know? There's always that possibility of getting booted out for something. Or, you know, the owner just saying, we don't want it anymore, we're going to sell it. So... That's always scary to me. But yeah, so it's kind of hard that we have accumulated so much stuff living here for this long that I'd like to store it better and have more space, but at the same time, I don't know. I feel like it wouldn't be wise to like accumulate too much, you know? I guess there has to be that balance. I still don't know how to get butter. I'm gonna have to look up like how to get butter. Feels like Skyrim, like harvesting corn and stuff out of like a, a garden. <laughs> okay, I think. Oh. 
As someone who just acquires stuff by nature, I admire your discretion. <laughs> I'm a little different because I'm very minimalist when it comes to possessions, only because for me, I'm always just worried about having too many things to deal with when we have to move or things like that. So like, oh my god, another raid. Hi Sass Gamer, thank you for the raid. My entire apartment is the size of the average American living room and somehow I have like five shelves on top of even more boxes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi Sass, thank you for the raid, welcome in. So many raids today, I know. So, my warrior's weapon is mochi. I don't know if you see that. Oh my god, Disgaea. Uh, a giant stick with three mochis on it. <laughs> it's really, really strong. How was Final Fantasy V, uh, Sask? I think... This is probably what we're going to call it for the night, I think. This is going to be a good place to stop. Um, I made lots of progress. Although I didn't really advance the story all that much. And I'm going to have to look up how to find butter, but... Welcome in, Sask. Thank you for the raid. Just in time. We're going to chat a little bit before we end for tonight. Um, I just need to grab all these resources because they're staring at me in the face. Five is good, getting very far in the game now. I still need to make more progress in four. Which, if I stream again this week, four will be the game I play. But, um, Final Fantasy Four. I'm enjoying four. I'll have to say that I think, for me, because I don't have the nostalgia for it, it does seem like a little dated. But it's still been a fun experience, you know. The characters have been fun. Um, it's been good. The music's been great. I mean, obviously it's an old game, so I can't I can't fault it for being dated. <laughs> Playing the PS1 version. Oh. The pixel remasters are really good. I'm enjoying them a lot. The job system is super fun to play around with. I love Final Fantasy games with classes and jobs. That makes me very happy. Okay, yeah. Uh, is it just save when I quit? Yes, okay, good. Yay. <laughs> he's, he's naked again. Okay, we'll come back here. Oh, it's so bright. Oh, God. Hang on. <laughs> Let's move this over here. There. I'll be playing the Pistol Remaster of 6 next. Oh, that one is so good. I love that one. I streamed that one all the way through. It was so good. Are you? I don't even know. Are, are all of you all like Final Fantasy fans? I'm not. I can't keep track of who is like a Final Fantasy fan or what, but I love the series so much. Well, thank you all for being here tonight. We got so many raids tonight. Um, Sask and Analog and Mr. Dragon, a new friend, Morbidly Gay Jonathan, all gave us raids tonight. Thank you all for that. I appreciate it. I I really want to say I'm gonna take my glasses off because I can't see. <laughs> this light is like reflecting. I appreciate y'all coming, even though I don't have like a set schedule and I don't have I don't do tweet announcements anymore, which is probably not good for my exposure. But I've kind of taken a step back from streaming in that I'm. So I do want to do some things, you know. Um, I hate talking about this because I almost feel like I shouldn't do this, but, um, oh, you know what? My headphones are really loud. That's why everything sounds loud. Um, I do want to do to try to do some things to encourage like tips and donations for me only because it's been a bit of a struggle in real life for me as far as like finances are concerned. Um, so I, 
I hate to ask you for these kinds of things, but I want to do more things like special events and stuff that encourage subscriptions and things like that. And again, I don't want to feel you guys to ever feel like you have to. Like I never want that. I want to. Be, I want you guys to be able to hang out with me for free. But also, just put it out there that it really does help if you folks. And if especially if you don't want to support, you know. Uh, Amazon Twitch directly. You can also support me off stream by going through my coffee or through my stream uh, stream elements donation links or, or tip link, I should say. But yeah, but I don't, again, I don't ever want to make you guys think that you have to because I want you all to just be able to hang out with me and hang out with me for, you know, without having to pay any money. That's why I stream. I want to hang out with you guys and just share games and things like that. But also just, you know, my friends have been encouraging me to do this, so that's why I'm doing it. But just to kind of put it out there too, that it does really help and I appreciate it a lot when you folks are able to tip and subscribe and give bits because all that goes towards helping me stay afloat in real life. So, you know, it helps me buy groceries and it helps me save up for things that I can't normally buy. So, you know, I'd love to do more charity related stuff later. It's just that right now, I, <laughs> I really need to help myself. So, <laughs> oh my God, Earl. <laughs> Not from you, Earl. You already give so many, but thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you, Earl. <laughs> you don't have to give. You, you've given so much already, but uh, <laughs> thank you, Earl. I appreciate you. <laughs> but yeah, so just I just want to let you know, folks know that I really appreciate it because I know we're all struggling right now with finances and the way the world is at the moment. So um, I do appreciate it when you can spare anything to, and that helps me out. And I'll, I'll try to put as much of it as I can uh, back to the stream as well so that we can get <laughs> thanks, Earl. more games for the stream, more things like that, you know, that we can share together. But also just just so you know, it does go to help me and my my, my husband out a lot. So thank you. I appreciate that. Um, let me see if there's anyone on to raid tonight. I've been bad about not raiding because, oh god, it's just so late when I finish usually. So Earl is such a sweetie. Earl is such a sweetie. Earl does not have to keep throwing subs at me, Earl. But thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, yum salad's on. Looks like. Oh, I'm gonna check. I'm checking into his stream first before I actually raid. I'm not sure how close he is to finishing. Earl is a little angel. I agree. Earl is very sweet. It's very generous. So, oh come on, add. Okay, looks like he's not ending yet. He is playing Elden Ring, so I don't know where he is in the game or if all of y'all are playing Elden Ring, if you don't want spoilers, so just letting you know before we head over there. Um, but yeah, thank y'all for being here. I don't know when I'm going to be back. I have some time off coming up, so I'll probably be streaming a little bit more uh, around that time. But um, yeah, again, thank you. Thank you all for the gift subs. Again, I really appreciate any tips or bits or subs you folks can spare. I appreciate that. Um, it'll help me out a lot. And also, hopefully I can put some back into the stream. So thank you. Um, but let me put the read messages in the chat. And yeah, the first one is for the sub. I really need to fix that one, but that's for the if you're subbed, the second one. If not, we're gonna head over to Yum Salad, check him out playing Elden Ring. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure when I'll see you guys again. I'll try to remember to tweet something out when I do because I know at least you folks will see that if you do, either don't have the notifications on for Twitch or whatever. Um, at least you might see it on Twitter so that you know I'm live, but I've been really bad about that lately, but it's okay, I guess. Um, but alright, y'all folks have a good night, and I'll see you folks soon. Thanks, Zach. Thank you all. Thank you all for being here. I'll see you again soon. Bye.